Hi, right now we are going to learn about how to make image blur as well as how to make a face blur in Adobe Photoshop. So nowadays it's a trend for making a background blur and sometimes you may need to mask some specific area of an image and sometimes you may need to blur a face from an image and we are going to learn about the blur stuff in Adobe Photoshop. So let's start with the how to make image blur and how to make face blur so let's start the process and as you know for practicing or for teaching about the image blur and face blur what we have to do yes you are right we have to open our exercise file so let's open the exercise file here is the file menu here is the open option and inside inside our exercise file you will get this brook kaggle unsplash image so we just have to select it and then you have to click open okay here we go you can take a look three person they are smiling and working in a table and we are going to we're going to blur this entire image as well as we are going to blur a specific face from this image so let's learn how to make the entire image blur first so i want to i want to duplicate this background layer for twice because with one layer, I will blur entire image, and with another layer, I will blur only the face. So that's why I want to I want to duplicate this background layer for twice. So let's do that. I just have to right click with my mouse, not yours, as well as yours too. So let me right click with my mouse, and here is a duplicate layer option. Or you can you can press Ctrl or Command J button from your keyboard as i told you before how to duplicate the layer using the keyboard shortcut okay so this is the pop-up for writing the name of the new duplicated layer and i want to write image blur okay cool so let me click okay as well as i have to i have to create one more layer and now i'm going to i'm going to use this image blur layer for duplicating and creating another layer so you just have to right click with your mouse and then you will get this duplicate layer option okay so right now i'm going to write face blur okay so let me click okay so right now we have three different layers. here is the face blur here is the image blur and here is the background image that means this is our main image so let's start with the image blur so the image blur means i'm going to blur this entire image and that's why please make sure this image blur layer is selected so we are going to apply a filter in this image blur but if i apply a filter in image blur what do you think will this filter will be visible in here what is your answer can you tell me no of course not because if you take a look on layer placement our image blur layer placed at second position and adobe photoshop always prioritize the first layer for previewing in here so that's why we have to do two things i mean any one from two likewise we can place this image blur layer at top otherwise we can turn off the face blur layer from here so let me turn off the face blur layer and now we will work with the image blur so please make sure the first layer the face blur layer is turned off and the image blur layer is selected or you can you can place this image blur layer at top so now we are going to apply the entire image blur filter so what is that name that's name is gaussian blur so where you will get it you will get that filter inside this filter menu so here is the filter menu and from there you will get this blur option and inside the blur you will get this gaussian blur option so you just have to go with the filter menu blur option and here is the gaussian blur option so let me click on this gaussian blur option here we go nothing has happened just a pop-up has appeared so you can take a look we have the radius pixel in here right now we only have 0.1 pixel 0 0.1 pixel so so till yet we didn't apply any pixel for radius that's why we have the same preview of image there is nothing blurred till yet so let's increase the radius pixel you can put the manual values in here or you can move this pointer at right side so let me move this pointer at right side right now we have 6.4 pixel 
and a small or slight blur effect is applied on this image. Let's increase the radius of pixel more. Let's go with the 19 and now we have the hard effect. Let's move more right like 64 pixel and this is the preview of this image. So using this Gaussian blur filter you will be able to make the entire image blur. So I don't think so that this image is really looks good right now. So let's reduce the radius of pixel. So keep it for 12.5 12 pixel. Okay. So let me click OK. So this is the process how you will make the entire image blur. And right now we are going to we are going to learn about how to make a specific face blur. So that's why let me turn on let me turn on the face blur. So let me ask you a question. If I turn on the face blur layer right now, what will happen? Can you answer me? Yes, perhaps you're right. Because if I turn on this face blur layer right now, then we will get back our actual image. Because this face blur layer is not applied with any effect. And this face blur layer is turned off and is placed at top. I mean at first position. That's why we will get our actual image of this background. We will get back with this face blur layer. So let me turn it on. As I said. Okay. Now we will apply the face blur. So let's do that. So you can blur a face in two ways. The first way is as usual as like uh, using the Gaussian blur. But in that case you have to make a selection. Let me show you. And that's why you have to make sure that face blur layer is selected. So let me select this face blur layer. And, and I want to... I want to make this beautiful lady's face blur and that's why that's why you can use this laser tool so here is a laser tool and using this laser tool let's make a selection okay we got a selection and using this laser tool we got a perfect selection and right now we do have to apply the same process as we applied in earlier so let's go with the filter menu then you have to go for the blur option and from there you have to go with the Gaussian blur option so let me let me click on this Gaussian blur and you can take a look we had the 12.5 radius pixel for the previous image and we do have the same and here is the preview so let me reduce the radius pixel of Gaussian blur okay okay cool no blur so let's increase the radius of pixel okay Right now we do have 40.1 pixel and you can take a look the entire face is now blur. So let me click OK. You can take a look the entire face got blurred. So this is the simple process. So let's deselect the selection and you know how to deselect. You just have to press Ctrl or Command D button from your keyboard. OK. So this is a process for making a face blur and we do have an another way to make the face blur and that's why we have to use a tool so what is the name of the tool the name of the tool is blur tool so this is the blur tool and you can take a look we don't have any shortcut for using this blur tool so let me select this blur tool from the toolbar okay and here is the option for changing the brush of blur tool okay so let me let me show you let me click on this option and you can you can pick any kind of brush for for making your face blur so let me let me use this hard round pressure size brush and here is the size as well as we used in the pick selection too so i think the size of the brush seems smaller so let's make it bigger Okay, cool. 100 pixel, and we should have to use the hardness 100% because we are going to make the face blur. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to make this handsome man's face blur. So let's use our mouse for making his face blur. So you just have to you just have to use your mouse, and then you have to hold the left button from your mouse, and then you have to move your mouse at the face. So anything happens? Yeah, you can take a look a little blur effect is applied on here so let's make once again let's move the mouse on his face okay cool it's applying the blur effect is applying gradually so with this with this blur tool you will not be able to make this face blur as like this one but but you can you can you can make the face blur and you can compare between the before and after so we do have a little face blur in here 
So this blur tool basically using for making a smaller light blur for the faces. But if you want to make the hard blurness or if you want to apply some hard blur effect to a face, in that case, you have to, you have to apply the Gaussian blur filter with the selection. So this is the simple process for making your face blur. So let me compare between before and after using this, using this blur tool. So let me turn off this image blur layer and let me turn off the face blur layer as well please keep your eye on this face okay we do have transparent face right now and after using the blur tool in this men's face how it look like we got a little blur effect and we applied the gaussian blur filter for this beautiful female and we got the hard blur effect for her face so this is how you will apply the blur filter in an image like Gaussian blur and this is how you will apply the use of blur tool in a face in Adobe Photoshop. So see you in next lesson and you should have to do some practice for using the blur filter. So I'm going to see you in next lesson.